globalization. First of all, what is it? You know? I mean, globalization, uh, ju used neutrally, globalization just means international integration. Okay, everybody's in favor of it. I mean, it's been the core principle of the left and the working class movement since their origins. That's why every union is called an international. Okay, everybody's in favor of globalization. Now, the term has been appropriated by a narrow sector of power and privilege to refer to their version of international uh, integration, the investor rights version. And that makes sense for them to try to, buy, you know, to own the term because anyone who's opposed to their version then becomes anti-globalization, meaning some kind of primitive who wants to go back to the Stone Age or something like that. Uh, it's a bad error on the part of the critics of this investor rights uh, version of integration to accept the term anti-globalization. They should not. We're all in favor of globalization. The question is, is, is it going to be in the interests of people or in the interests of private power? All right now, has internet, just using the term neutrally now, what, has it increased or has it decreased? Well, you know, in many respects, it's decreased. Take uh, what Adam Smith meant by it, okay? Uh, you're supposed to love Adam Smith. The core of free trade, according to Adam Smith, is what he called free circulation of labor, meaning people can go wherever they want. If you don't have that, you can't even begin to talk about free trade. Well, if we measure that, what's happened to globalization? Globalization in the sense of movement across borders, that's declined. And in fact, what has incre on the other hand, other, by other measures, globalization has increased very fast, uh, like movement of capital. So increase of capital flow uh, across borders has just uh, increased, escalated astronomically in the last 25 years by the breakdown of capital controls. Uh, the Bretton Woods system, the preceding 25 years, was based on control of capital movement. But by that measure, there's more globalization. Uh, you measure by people, less globalization, by capital movement, more globalization. In fact, this very, you see it very dramatically in the U.S.-Mexico relation. So uh, the U.S.-Mexico border, uh, it was militarized in 1994 under Clinton's uh, Operation Gatekeeper. It was militarized in order to stop the movement of people across the border, that is to cut back international integration. Why in 1994? Well, because that was the year when NAFTA was initiated. Uh, NAFTA is called, is claimed to be something that increases integration between Mexico and uh, uh, the United States, but not people. Uh, by, uh, measured by people, it cuts back the flow. That's why you had to militarize the border. Why did they want to militarize the border? Well, because what they predicted in Mexico is what's called an economic miracle from NAFTA, which means a disaster for most of the population. Uh, wages have dropped precipitously. Uh, uh, investment has declined. Uh, and in general, it's been a kind of a economic miracle. Economic miracle means that for a small sector of wealthy people and for foreign investors, it's fantastic. Uh, that's the definition of a miracle. And they expected that, and that's why you had to militarize the border. Uh, so did that increase integration or decrease it? Well, you know, that's an ideological question. Depends what you want to measure. When you militarize a border to prevent people from moving freely, by Adam Smith's measure, it decreases it. Okay, by the measure of, uh, you know, the owners of the economy, it increases it. They make more profit. Uh, what about trade? You know, everybody reads that trade increased between Mexico and uh, the United States. Did it? Well, not by Adam Smith's measures. Uh, be, before NAFTA, you know, in 1993, uh, there was plenty of so-called, there was plenty of movement of uh, commodities across the border. But about 50% of it was internal to a firm. Okay, that's not trade, okay, at least by classical economic measures. That's no more trade than if General Motors moved something from Indiana to Illinois. Well, it was 50% before NAFTA, now it's about 66%. Very little of what's going on across borders is trade in any serious sense. Uh, some things are, have definitely declined, like movement of people. Uh, in the case of NAFTA, not just by accident, by militarizing the border. Just a day or two ago, uh, Bush announced further militarization of the border. 
uh, that's cutting back international integration. I mean, pretext is drugs, but you know, that's pretext for anything. Uh, the, uh, uh, so you just can't answer these questions simply about globalization. There's just too many different ways of looking at it.